Warning, the contents of this video contain images of deceased animals. Viewers sensitive to this type of imagery, be warned. Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. As the little warning suggested, we do have a somewhat tragic clutch of blood python eggs here. And these are the ones that I left with mom if you've been watching previous videos. So we're gonna show you. And as the warning said, some of them are good, some of them are not. We're gonna check out the ones that are good first. And uh, I'm probably gonna get mom out of here so she doesn't think about biting me. There are some good babies kind of hiding amongst the cocoa blocks here that are just, that crawled out of the egg and it was good, you know. Um, but there's a couple here that the babies just didn't come out of the egg. Now the interesting thing here is that I have two eggs in here that mom had rolled out when she first laid the clutch and so I took these and stuck them in the incubator. But even in here, as you can see on that overhead camera, um, one of the eggs didn't hatch and one of them did. So the temperatures and humidity in the incubator were perfect. We had eggs that hatched out here, had eggs that died here, and in the incubator had the same representation. So whether or not it was humidity and temperatures or just the thing that nature happens, you know, sometimes that's why the snakes have so many eggs. Sometimes some of them don't make it. We're gonna show you the good babies, see how many, how many we've got, and then we'll show you the couple that are in the egg and kind of give you a little look at what the decomposing, well, there's, start, there's already some maggots going in. They, they, they work quickly, um, but we'll show you that too. So I kind of want to compare it. We'll start with the one right here that just came out of the egg in the incubator. And this baby here looks really good, looks perfectly healthy. He's got some nice squirmy, ready to defensively strike. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for the special cue there, little baby. That was a perfect timing. Still got the little bit of egg tooth attached, or that's just the tongue getting out. The egg tooth has already come off. Oh, hey, hi, 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 yeah, that's fine. Is your neck okay there? You got a little kink in the neck? Seems like there's a, a tiny bit of a kink up towards the neck. Other than that, seems like a pretty healthy baby, but there is there does seem to be appear to be a, a light, little bit of a kink there. Um, so we'll see how that affects this snake going forward. Uh, probably a matrix based off the pink tongue there, and thanks for the little reminder that my knuckle has nerve endings. I'm just gonna set you over there. The bite from that snake is very cute. Uh, the bite from mom would not be nearly as cute. We've got a little baby hiding in her coils there right now, so we're just gonna get Sangria out of here and uh, just take away the chance of taking a real big bite from a big snake. This will be a much more relaxing video now. So this baby that she was sitting on and squishing um, is alive and doesn't appear to have any kinking whatsoever. Um, that little egg tooth is still hanging out there. Let's try and get a little macro shot. You guys can see the egg tooth. That's pretty cool. Little tongue flicks there. Looking all right. So again, the rest of these snakes that we're about to see all hatched out here in the enclosure with mom. All right, let's take a look at some, what else we got here? Move that aside. Just gonna have to kind of dig through the cocoa blocks and see what we can, see what we can find. The rest of the babies went hiding down in here. Did you just strike at me? There's one. This one is tiny. Very tiny, but healthy looking. I don't see any kind of kinking happening. Really cool looking pattern. And uh, seems to be pretty chill. We'll see if we get some any defense response. There's heat in front of your face, baby. How you feel about that? You feeling pretty chill about it? You're gonna be a little more like your mom, a real chill snake. Oh, no, there's the, I see the tensing up. So very aware, eyes moving. Seems, uh, other than being really tiny, seems perfectly healthy. And yeah, let's see what else we got going on in here. A couple more eggs, one empty, one never hatched. Never even seemed like there's a snake forming in that one. Oh, there we go. It's like Christmas. Oh, there goes that little baby runty one <laughs> striking defensively. This one is beautiful. Look at the pattern on this girl, or, or guy. What a good looking snake. Oh my goodness. 
Wow. That's that's a gorgeous animal right there. Not seeing any kinking. Looks like a perfectly healthy animal. Well, looks like probably a matrix too, based on that, that pink tongue. That's a good looking snake right there, man. That's probably, that might be the winner of the clutch right there. All right, let's, <laughs> I love how the rest of the babies are just kind of sitting. They're like, all right, we, you've put us in our place and we're gonna stay there. That's, oh, <laughs> little runty one's getting an attitude. Woo! Oh, look, here's another one right here. Look at you. Still got some, uh, got a full belly from the, wow, look at the stripe on that one. So different than that other one there. Oh, this is not a matrix, but man, that stripe, that's like almost a full stripe going down the back of this snake. That is a beautiful blood python. I'm not seeing any kind of kinking in this. This one looks perfectly normal and healthy. Great body composition. Still digesting some of the yolk down there, it looks like. Got some, some of that yolk got absorbed into the belly and feeding off, feeding this baby. Wow, that's another good looking snake, but look how different it is, the snake next to it. So different. This one is like completely broken up and this one has <laughs> got a nice healthy defensive response. Like to see that. Ooh, you too little runty baby. I think you're gonna be just fine. Let's see, oh, we got two hiding together here. Oh, ooh, 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 hey now. Hey now, hey now. Ah! <laughs> you got your two stuck in me. Sorry, I got, that was more surprising. It doesn't really hurt, it's just, it's just surprising. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good looking snake. Yeah, beautiful looking baby. No issues that I can see visually inspection. Belly looks perfectly good. Uh, no kinking. Looks like a, a normal. And these will just get just as red as mom when they get some meals in them. Got some more defensive action happening. I think that might be it of the ones that uh, <laughs> you know, they love blood pythons, they just throw their whole body into it. Oh, look, another one. Sweet. Awesome. This one looks like another normal. You know, all kinds of snakes down there doing pop shots. Another beautiful snake. And I think that's the only place, unless there's some crawled in over here, which I, I don't think. So yeah, you can see this one, it's got the kink. It's kind of like a 90 in the neck. We'll have to see how that affects, uh... Ow, ow, it doesn't affect your attitude at all. Yeah, yeah, that's my finger and that does hurt. Ow, the very end of the finger hurts very bad. Are you trying to eat my finger alive? Give me a break. I know you came out a little funky, but you don't gotta take it out on me, dude. I, I, if I had my way, you come out perfectly healthy. Not with that weird 90 degree kink in your neck. I'm very sorry that that's happened to you. And so are my fingers. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. I think that's, I think that's gonna be it. Interesting how all these babies chose to go hide under the cocoa blocks rather than, except for the one that wanted to hide in mom's coils. Um, this one has got long range. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight babies. Six of them absolutely perfectly healthy, normal looking. Uh, one with that kink there and the one runt who seems like is gonna be just fine. And then we've got two more that didn't ever make it out of the egg. We got some eggs here that also never even seemed to form snakes um, fully. But this one here, this is the one that, this one doesn't look so hot. This is, uh, this is one of the snakes that like mostly formed, but then never came out of the egg. Um, and then we have another one that actually did come out of the egg kind of, but then just died before it ever came out. So I'm gonna take this all the way out just so you guys can see, ooh, it's, it's getting kind of gnarly in there already. Skin starting, first layer of skin starting to fall off or maybe it never even formed properly. It's pretty disgusting, but I, I choose to share this stuff with you guys because there's a lot of folks out there that I know get inspired to want to produce animals because it's, it's beautiful and it's a wonderful thing to hatch out eggs. But then you get stuff happen like this too where some of them don't make it and it's kind of, a, disgusting, it can be a little bit heart-wrenching. And, uh, you know, I just I just wanted you to see the full spectrum of what it is to produce snakes and to do whatever it is I'm doing over here and what you can expect fully in reality and not kind of sugarcoat 
um, any of the bad stuff that can happen, you know, because it's, it's part of it. It's part of it. You know, if you, if you appreciate life, like I do, um, you don't like to see it wasted like this or what it, you know, just, it's not fun. This is the part that's not fun at all is seeing the baby like this, that could have come out of the egg and, but it's just not, you know, it's not going to live that, that full life. It's just, there it is. Life's over already before it even hardly begun. Uh, I hope you guys found this video educational and that it was, uh, you know, inspiring and beautiful. It's nice, nice to balance this video, I think. A lot of life, a little bit of death. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us here today. Please stay tuned. We're going to be traveling to the Arlington Reptile Show. We're actually there right now as you're watching this video. So if you're, if you're in Arlington in Texas, uh, go to the Reptile Show and, and come hang out with us and let's talk about snakes or talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm, I'm happy to talk about whatever you want about. God bless all you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.